Welcome back to Drinks Made Easy, because cocktails don't have to be difficult. Today we're taking a look at the Clover Club, a pre-prohibition classic that looks like it might have just, you know, been designed in the last couple of weeks because of the raspberries, the foam, and everything which has become synonymous with a lot of the modern cocktails. But this drink actually first appears in print in 1917 in The Ideal Bartender, and it's named after a men's club in Philadelphia, which actually was formed in 1896, so it could be even older than that first print. Printing. Now, a lot of modern folks know this drink because of one of the rock stars of the bartending world, Julie Rayner, who has a bar in Brooklyn called the Clover Club, and this became one of their signature drinks. If you don't know Julie, check her out. She is a bona fide badass. Uh, but this is a great cocktail that if you hadn't had before, you definitely need to check it out. To make the Clover Club, you'll start with a half an ounce of raspberry syrup. However, if you don't already have raspberry syrup, a good workaround is half an ounce of simple syrup and four raspberries that you're then just going to muddle. You might be thinking, wait, but that's a bit more volume than half an ounce. You're right, but you're gonna get a little bit of a reduction when you're making a syrup because you're using heat. So this is an approximation for overall flavor. Again, raspberry syrups are great to have for um, desserts, etc. but if you're just making one cocktail, it's a great workaround. Next, we're gonna add half an ounce of dry vermouth, half an ounce of fresh lemon juice, one and a half ounces of gin, and only a quarter ounce of egg whites. Now, if you like your drink to be extra uh, emulsified or you really like the kind of whiskey sour foam, you can add a little bit more. And we're gonna start by doing a dry shake. Anytime you have egg whites, this is really imperative if you wanna get a nice foam on your cocktail. Now you're gonna add a little bit of ice and give it a wet shake. Then we're gonna double strain into a coupe. Now you wouldn't normally need to double strain, but because we're muddling the raspberries, this is a good idea uh, to basically keep all the pulp and seeds out of your drink. Garnish with a skewer of fresh raspberries, and easy as that, you have the Clover Club. It's a great classic cocktail that unlike a lot of modern raspberry drinks that are quite uh, sweet, there's a lot of subtle aspects to this with the vermouth and just the touch of raspberry and the egg whites just bring it all together. If you're looking for something that has a lot of complexity of flavor uh, but isn't overly sweet, try this drink out. If you have any comments, please be sure to leave them below and we will get back to you as soon as we can. Cheers from Drinks Made Easy.